Hey everybody, happy Friday. So we made it to the end of the week. So now it's time for our battalion brief. Um, this is just a quick little like 10 minute video just to share a couple of fun things with you guys and just chat. Um, and I'm sorry, I'll apologize already. I am losing my voice. So I'll tell you about my week. Um, I am a new resident of North Carolina. I'm originally from Virginia, so we moved back to North Carolina in the fall, and I've never had allergies or anything like that before, and I guess now I do. So this week has been very interesting, um, discovering that I have allergies, and if you have allergies, I'm so sorry, they are terrible. Like, I never thought allergies were that bad, um, pretty much all week, my eyes have been watering, my nose has been running, and now I'm losing my voice. So, it's been really fun. Um, I was going to go live on Tuesday and do a live story time with you guys with one of our new picture books. But I was too afraid that I was going to like be sneezing on camera and my eyes would be watering and just looking awful. Um, so, I spared you guys that part Um this week so I'm gonna reschedule that and do that um, next Tuesday so I'm thinking it's gonna be Tuesday around lunchtime probably noon and so I'll go live and do story time um, and those are not allowed to be recorded anymore so that'll be live and then it'll be gone um, so you'll have to kind of tune in right then but I'll send out some um, I'll post a reminder beforehand so that everybody sees it but I think for story times coming up I'm gonna try to do um, Tuesdays once or twice a month and then I'll probably just switch up the times um, because I got pretty um, spread answers on that poll yesterday of the times that work best for everybody so I'm gonna just try it out and see um, what times seem to have the most people that are able to show up um, so we'll play around with it for a little while that way everybody can get to experience some story time so that'll be next Tuesday probably around noon because um, I'm going to be leaving. I would do the PM slot um, because that seemed to be pretty popular. But I'm going to be leaving and heading to Florida next week for vacation. So I'll be driving um, Tuesday night. So I'll do Tuesday afternoon um, and do story time. So I'll post about it later so you guys can um, see what's coming. And maybe we'll vote on what book to read too. So anyway, hey Kara, thanks for joining. Yeah, so next week I will be doing this battalion brief at the beach. So hopefully um, I'll have good connection. I'll be able to maybe even take you guys down to the beach and uh, do my live show there. So we'll see. But my uh, husband's cousin is um, having her wedding reception. So I'm going to go down and visit with his family and hang out with them for a little while. Hey, Tori. Um, and unfortunately he's not able to go, but I get to go to Florida with his family every year, um, regardless. So that's going to be really fun. Hey, Brittany, thanks for joining. Okay. So this week I wanted to share, I read the adventures of Alfie onion. You guys voted last week. It was actually a three-way tie. So I just picked one. Um, but the adventures of Alfie onion, it was a pretty quick read and I am not a fast reader. It's 188 pages. So just shy of 200 pages. Um, you can see the amount of text and there's pictures throughout just like little illustrations but anyway so this book I was actually really surprised by um, when I got it I was like eh, it's kind of whatever you know chapter books unless it's a topic that you feel like you're really into sometimes they're hard to really get excited about and especially ones that aren't series like this one it's not a series it's just a standalone so I was a little skeptical on this one um, but I was actually really impressed. I read it in about three hours. And like I said, I'm not a fast reader. So if that tells you anything. Um, it's for age about seven, eight age range. Um, and it's packed full of adventure. So Alfie is the eighth son of a seventh son. And his brother Magnifico here is the seventh son of a seventh son. So their dad is the seventh son in his family. And then his dad and his mom had eight sons so craziness but yeah so his mom basically wanted um, a fairy tale and she grew up trying to figure out how she was gonna have a fairy tale and then she realized you know hey I'm probably not gonna become a princess myself so I've got to come up with a different idea so she goes out she finds a seventh son 
and marries him, and then they have seven sons, and then, oops, they end up with eight, actually. So Alfie is the eighth son. He's kind of the disregarded kid. Um, you know, he was not really part of her plan, so he does not get a whole lot of love. Um, he's kind of the neglected kid. The mom sends him on the adventure. Hey, Becky, sends him on the adventure with his brother Magnifico to find a princess and rescue her and marry her so that they can all live this fairy tale that she's wanted. So she's basically hoping that he'll come home with a princess that he can marry and they can just like mooch off of her um, royalty and, you know, money. So that's pretty much the story. And they go out and they find out there's a princess in the woods. And so they're going to go try to rescue her. But she is in a castle that's being guarded by ogres. And there's little trolls in this story too um, that live out in the woods and they're scared of the ogres. So this book actually, there's some references inside that kind of reminded me of the movie Trolls. Um, just that like the trolls are really sweet and friendly and helpful. And then the ogres are, um, actually the ogres even look like the ones from Trolls. I was trying to find a good picture. But yeah, so that I thought was kind of interesting. Um, so if your kids liked Trolls, this might actually be a good book for them. But yeah, so there's lots of adventure. There's lots of talking animals. Um, and then, you know, kind of a twist at the end. Um, because I don't think I mentioned Magnifico, the brother who was supposed to be going and marrying a princess. He has pretty much been babied his entire life. That's him right there. Throwing a hissy fit. Um, because his mom knew that he was going to be the one that was going to go and marry the princess. Hey, Robin. And so she pretty much did everything for him. She like made sure he was the happiest of all the eight sons. Like he got everything he wanted. Um, and yeah, he's pretty much a spoiled brat. And so he is really mean to his brother and tells his brother he's pretty much useless. And, um, so yeah, he ends up kind of getting what's coming for him. Um, throughout the story because he's been so babied like he doesn't want to do anything they have to walk on this long road and he throws a fit um, he's not allowed to eat as much as he normally would because they had to pack like a picnic and so they don't have unlimited food and so here he is guarding all of his picnic baskets because he's mad that he can't have them all right now um, yeah so it was a really cute little story pretty quick it would be a good like family read along together um, and yeah, there's kind of a good like moral story to it in the end, which is really cute. Um, but yeah, and it does have a happy ending for both Alfie and Magnifico, surprisingly. So yeah, so that's my review of The Adventures of Alfie Onion. So next I'm going to read, I'm going to take The Cherry Pie Princess and um, Uncle Sean and Bill and their adventures. I'm going to take both of those. Those are the other two books with me to the beach next week. So hopefully I can get through those and I'll do a book review on at least one of them um, next Friday. But in the spirit of book reviews, I need you guys' recommendations. So if you have a book, like an adult book for, not like an adult book. <laughs> How do you even say that without it coming off like wrong? Um, a book for adults, chapter book of some sort, um, that you recommend, that you think I should read, um, comment it below, and I'm going to go check out the library and um, check out the source tomorrow and try to get just a fun, like, reading book for me. I'm going to take these two chapter books, which I think I can finish in the car, and then um, I have two um, business, like, professional development books that I'm also going to read, but they're all really short, all four, all four of them, so... I think I can fit in like a fun read. So if you guys have any recommendations, comment below. I love like sappy romance novels, um, but I also really like kind of the mystery, um, like the, uh, oh, what was that one? Into the Water I read last year, um, Gone Girl, you know, those kind of style. Not like scary mystery, but like, you know, just enough mystery. Young Adult, yes, I do like Young Adult because I'm not a fast reader, so I can get through those much faster. So it makes, it's kind of like a confidence booster for me. Yeah, I like those. Um, but yeah, I like the kind of sappy romance stuff too. So shoot me your recommendations. We'll see what I can come up with um, when I go to the store tomorrow. See what they've got um, so that I can find something fun to read on the beach. And then I'll share that review with you guys too if you're interested in an adult review. I've got to figure out what to call those. Adult books sounds 
like naughty. So anyway, okay, one last thing I want to share before I jump off here. Um, I wanted to give you guys a peek inside my hostess packets. So when I have somebody that hosts a party, typically I'll mail them a packet of goodies. Um, sometimes I'm better about it than others. So if you've hosted for me and I haven't sent you one, I'm really sorry. Uh, sometimes I I'm not on my game, but this month I'm on my game. So anybody that hosts a party with me in March um, or April or May, um, these coming months, basically what I want to show you, just some of the things you'll get in this hostess packet that I'll send you. So I'll mail you a catalog, of course. That's kind of my hostess gift because um, these things I don't send out just to anybody. And this is the large catalog, which is what I send. And it's huge. It's packed full of great goodies. But it's really nice to have like the paper copy to um, let your kids go through and make their wish lists and circle the books that they want. Um, and it's great to show like your friends or grandparents who don't really do online shopping. It's great to have that paper copy catalog. Um, so I send these out in my hostess packets. And Jessica, this is actually yours. It has your name on the back of it. I'm so sorry. I haven't sent it out from the giveaway in January. So I will get that in the mail before I leave for the beach. Um, but yes, yeah, so I send a catalog. I usually send um, like a fun coloring bookmark or, you know, something for mom to do. And then um, I just started something new or I'm going to start something new um, and send our wipe clean cards. So they come in a pack. We have a few different like packs of wipe clean cards here. Travel doodles is another one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send, see they come wrapped here. I'm going to send a couple of these on a like binder ring and I'll mix them up so you can get like a good variety. But yeah, so I'll mix them up and put them on a binder ring and that way you can have these on the go. So you just like punch a hole in it, put a binder ring. Um, and these are great for, you know, on the go. If you don't want to carry a full book with you, give you a peek at some of these, what they have on them. Um, this one is from the animal doodles packet. So obviously it's going to be lots of animals. Um, the other ones have different kind of topics inside too, but yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to try that out as a fun little just hostess gift, um, and send out a little stack of wipe clean cards. So you can have those just throw them in your purse or they're great for like in your kid's backpack, something they can play with on, um, on the bus, you know, on the ride home or to school, um, just to keep them occupied. So I'm going to try those out as part of my hostess packet. Um, and then there's lots of other really cool stuff in the hostess packet too. Some like print out flyers and, um, information stuff for your actual party. Um, but obviously that's not like super fun to just look at flyers. So I didn't print those off to show you guys today, but I did want to show, you know, the cards and that you get a catalog. So that's one of the only ways to get a catalog, um, unless I do like a giveaway, but you can purchase catalog on the website anytime, but everybody loves a free catalog. So anyway, that is, um, what comes in my hostess packet. So if you're interested in hosting a party, let me know and I'll mail you out a hostess packet. So you'll get some wipe clean cards and a catalog and some fun stuff to um, get you going for your party. So that is pretty much it that I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend and next week I'll be joining you from the beach. Hopefully I'll have good connection. Um, and we will chat then about my book reviews. And um, let's see, what are you guys doing this weekend? Comment below, tell me what you're doing this weekend if you have some fun plans. It is a beautiful day here. It's almost 80 degrees outside, hence my pineapple shirt. I'm feeling uh, beachy and summery with the beach coming up, 80 degrees in North Carolina in February, which is craziness. Um, so yeah, comment below, tell me what you're doing. I think we are gonna go see a movie this weekend. My husband has a day off today and Monday for President's Day weekend, so he is golfing right now. Um, so yeah, we're trying to take advantage of the fun weather that we have um, this weekend and actually have to refinish some furniture and stuff too. So that and a movie, those are our plans for this weekend. What are your plans this weekend? Tell me if you're doing something fun or tell me what the weather's like near you too because I know not everybody has this great weather right now. Kara's got some work to do, but fun playing, that's always the best. I love when my work is like 
just looking through books or reading. Now that I'm doing these book reviews, reading is actually, you know, fun work um, that helps me, but you know, it's more fun than just the generic day-to-day uh, -day work stuff you have to do. So anyway, all right, guys, I will talk to you next week from the beach. See ya.